Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am Florida Boy and this is my EDC channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit something different. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while or um, more or less a segment. This is going to be a segment that I've been I've been wanting to do. So we're going to call this Flashaholics Anonymous. <laughs> I thought that was a fitting name. Um, and we're going to go over just different things about the flashlight world, especially in the EDC world. So let's get into it. All right, so I have been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, I'm pretty excited to finally get this kicked off and going. Uh, today's portion of the video is just going to be on getting started in the flashlight world. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, today is my birthday. So I thought today would be an extra special day to be able to finally start this segment. Uh, yes, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> I hear that every year for my birthday. So... Without any further ado, uh, this episode of Flashaholics Anonymous, we're going to just kind of go over getting introduced or getting started into the flashlight world for EDC. So my main thing with getting started in the world of EDC, if you don't know me or if this is your first time being on the channel, um, I am huge when it comes to copper. I love copper. It's just what I like. I... You know, there's a little bit of a backstory behind it. Like the first, the first flashlight I was ever given, or at least got, uh, that wasn't some ten dollar, you know, twenty dollar flashlight from Harbor Freight, Walmart, any of those, any of those major retailers, was this guy right here. This is the Olight i5T, and this was given to me by a really good friend in Missouri when I was living up there, and. Uh, of course, now, you know, this used to be straight copper. Now I've done like a little bit of a forced patina with that shipwreck patina. And uh, it's just because I don't carry it anymore. But this light, man, this light saw so much use. Um, I just, I loved it. I loved the fact that I could carry it and it would just develop its own patina. And I feel like it was a different light almost every day. And that's kind of how I feel about all copper flashlights. I like that they just kind of evolve as you use them. And that's really attractive to me. So the reason being for that, like that backstory is when it comes to buying your your first flashlight or at least getting into the flashlight world, buy what you like. Uh, there's a lot of recommendations out there. There's a lot of people that will say, you know, this light is the best. This light is the best. Get to that in your own time. Don't, don't just start with that. And I, I kind of did that a little bit. Like once I started looking for flashlights or trying to figure out what I liked, um, then I was able to branch off and start buying, you know, crazy, crazy, <laughs> like crazy flashlights, donut flashlights. Um, I mean, I've got, I've got so many here that I just, you know, it's just, it's just all over the place, but copper is my favorite and I will buy a flashlight just because it's copper. Even if it's something little like, like this guy here that was on Amazon, I think $15, $10, something like that. Didn't pay very much. Doesn't have a lot of output. I mean, that's as much as you're going to get from this, but it's copper. So I enjoy it. So that that's the main thing is buy what you like, figure out what you like, whether it's copper, whether it's brass, whether it, you know, it could be anything titanium and just go for it. Get that. Once you, once you've had, you know, your kind of your touch with the flashlights, once you have, you know, your copper lights or your brass lights or whatever it is that is appealing to you, then you can start figuring out the things that you like the most. Do you like high power? Do you like a really, really good moonlight mode or something that is going to be, um, sorry, I started getting a phone call or, you know, something that's going to be, um, small in size, big. I mean, this this is this is a chunker right here. This thing is huge. And even this uh, FW21 right here, the Pro, is huge for pocket anyways. I mean, if you, if you compare the FW21 to like an i5T, there you go. I mean, that's, that's massive. <laughs> but I, but I, I enjoy carrying this. Uh, this light is a lot of fun. This thing puts out 10,000 lumens. So, um, you know, one of the things that I figured out is... I like copper a lot, a lot, a lot, um, but I also love high-powered flashlights. 
And sometimes it might just be one of those things where, you know, if you're ever at home and you're not doing a whole lot, you may just be sitting there on your couch and go, hmm, and just, just start flicking a knife back and forth, you know, like that. And that's, that's kind of what I do with flashlights sometimes. Um, I will, I'll just pull out my flashlight like this guy right here and just, you know, in a dark room, I'll just be like, hmm, turbo, <laughs> you know, and that's, that's the, that's the flashlight world, you know, flashlights are fun to play with too. So I, I like having very high power flashlights. I think that's a ton of fun. Um, but that, that's another one of the things that I, I really like. And we'll, you know, this is going to be something that I would like to do weekly. So you'll have to let me know if this type of a segment is something that's for you. Um, I plan to do something similar with knives. Um, we'll do like a Knifeaholics Anonymous or something. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't nailed that one down yet. But the Flashaholic one, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I love my flashlights. Um, sometimes I'll just carry a little knife but I'll carry a big flashlight, <laughs> you know, worst case scenario, the, the knife can't get the job done. I can just beat somebody with a flashlight. You know, that's, that's all I have to have. Not really, but you, you get what I'm saying. So, you know, once you've, once you've narrowed down what you like, so if you like copper or any of those, any of those more exotic metals, then you can start looking at, okay, how big do I want this flashlight to be? And we can go, we can go all over the spectrum. You've got keychain flashlights, you've got small AAA lights, AA lights, you've got 18650s, which are, you know, standards nowadays. If you don't know what an 18650 is, here's an 18650 battery. And if we compare something like this to, sorry, I have to reach behind me to find, there we go. So if we compare something like an 18650 to a AAA battery, there we go. So here's an 18650 to a AAA. You can kind of just start playing with battery sizes. And, you know, and like I said, the journey is yours when it comes to figuring out what kind of flashlight is good for your EDC or just your daily carry. You know, some people just like to have a flashlight for backup. Um, so here, here we've got a AA next to an 18650. So once you've narrowed that down, um, yes, Battery size does kind of factor into battery life. Um, absolutely, it does that. But the main thing is to, you know, for me is I I will like a flashlight a whole lot less if it is not rechargeable. Now, for the most part, if we're looking at i5, you know, like we'll just use Olight for an example. So Olight has their i5Ts, which are not rechargeable, but you can put rechargeable batteries in there. Um, that's where it can get a little tricky. Rechargeable batteries generally are a little bit more high power. So if you do a rechargeable battery, you got to do a little bit of research, just a little bit. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and be, you know, full transparency. I don't. <laughs> I just slap that bad boy in there. And if it burns out my LED, it burns it out. I'll buy another one. Um, but I, I've never had a flashlight burn out on me. I'm just, I'm smart about it. So, and, and I say smart kind of reluctantly, um, I'm cautious about it. If I put a, um, you know, a rechargeable, which I do in my Olight i5Ts, um, all of my i5Ts, I do put rechargeable batteries in them and they are higher power than what is recommended by Olight. But I, I do check them a little bit, you know, periodically if I'm going to use the flashlight um, I just feel to make sure it's not overheating, uh, make sure there's no kind of, uh, if a, if a light, you know, an led source can start going bad or anything, you start getting some flickering. I just kind of keep an eye out. I just be cautious. Um, that's just something that you'll, that you'll do once you start kind of just experimenting. Um, but I'm, you know, it, they're meant to be used. I, I don't mind if I accidentally burn out a flashlight. I would not like to do that, but it, it just kind of comes with the territory whenever you're playing around with batteries and stuff like that. So that's the other big thing for me is the battery. So needs to be rechargeable. That that's like a big thing for me. I don't want to be replacing batteries. Um, I, that's, that's just, that's major for me. So this next thing that I look for is I would like all of my flashlights. I wish they all had this, but they need to have a lockout mode. If I'm going to carry it in my pocket, it needs to lock out. So, um, Lumen Top typically does a very good job of this. Um, 
for the most part, Olight does, except for their, you know, their their i5s, their i3s, their smaller lights, their double A's and triple A's, usually don't have any kind of lockout mode. If you go to something like the Baton 3 Pro, this absolutely has a lockout mode. It's basically just hold it down and then it will lock out. Um, same thing, LM10, FW21, all of your Enduro lights, uh, I think it's click it four times, uh, the, batter, the uh, switch, press it four times, that'll put you in lockout mode. So that's the other big thing that's huge to me is lockout. Um, enough said, really. Uh, you don't want to catch your pocket on fire if you're carrying a light that puts out a lot of heat. Uh, I have burnt a mini a pocket with <laughs> this guy. This is my little pocket burner. And it's mostly due to my own error. Um, so you click one, two, three, four, double flashes, and now it's on. And then to put it back into lockout mode, one, two, three, four, and we're back to lockout. So whenever I tap this, it just turns on. See, press and hold. It doesn't stay on. Double tap to get a higher power. As soon as I let go, it turns off. So, like I said, my fault. Uh, there's been many cases where I just forget to hit the lockout button, and then I put it in my pocket. It turns on, and then I'm like, hmm, what's that smell? It's my pocket. So, yeah, lockout mode, you know, whilst I uh, am not perfect at remembering to do it, I do it 99% of the time, and the other 1% that I don't, I burn myself. <laughs> so, so without lockout mode, I would be in a world of hurt. So those are kind of like the big things that I look for. And I mainly, I'm just saying this just to kind of give people a starting, like, you know, a head start. Um, so maybe some of the things that you don't look for and that you might start looking for now. Um, but we are going to go more in depth on things like this over the course of this series that I'm going to do. I'm going to make, like I said, I'm going to make this a series and, um, I just want people to be a little bit more, I guess, informed or make it a little bit easier for people to choose the flashlights. I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of emails, um, just people asking for recommendations. And it's really hard to recommend a flashlight or anything like that to somebody that I, I don't know. You know, I know a lot of people on the channel. There's a lot of regulars on here that I talk to and we talk on pretty much every single video. Um, but we usually talk about the video, so I don't know much, I don't know much personal stuff about you or the person that I'm talking to other than what we've talked about through the channel. So when it comes to recommending a flashlight, I can absolutely recommend flashlights that are just stellar flashlights, but even some of those flashlights that are just awesome flashlights may not be something that's, you know, perfect for you. And that's kind of how I am because, uh, like. Let me, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of a flashlight. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm not even going to be able to put my finger on it right now. Um, okay, so let's take the Emolent LD70. Um, I did a video on that. I love that flashlight. That is a flashlight that is the size of um, maybe just a little bit smaller than like a Baton 3 Pro. And that thing puts out like 4,000 lumens. That thing is incredible but I would love it a lot more if it was copper that's a small nitpick very 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 small nitpick but it also doesn't have a pocket clip that's 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 kind of big so I put a lanyard on it I carry it in my pocket and that works but I would love that light so much more if it had a pocket clip and that's more tailored to me like specifically so that's what I'm saying when it comes to when it comes to what kind of flashlight you should carry there's just there's certain things that people are going to be looking for in the subconscious or maybe just things in general they know that they're going to want that it makes it really hard for me to recommend so if we just take a small list of the things that I like that I personally like on a flashlight we've got copper which is one of those oops sorry um We've got copper, which is one of those things where I can take it or leave it, but I would much rather take it. And then we've got things like pocket clips, rechargeable batteries, higher outputs. Um, I, if I could have my rathers, I like glow, uh, glow in the dark O-rings. Um, Lumen Top does a very good job of that. Like if we take this little guy here, we can see on the inside of this, we have a little glow in the dark O-ring. And I don't know if I'll be able to get it on, probably not. Uh, my LM10 is a little bit easier. See if I 
take this guy out of moonlight and I do a turbo for a second and then put him back, we can see I've got glow in the dark. And glow <laughs> that is definitely one of those things that I don't have to have. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit of a fun preference to have. So, like I said, ev everybody's different. Glow in the dark is awesome. I think it's really fun. It's really neat. Um, tritium is definitely better than glow in the dark, but you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay for tritium, and that's because it has a half life of like, I don't, what's it like, thirteen years or something like something ridiculous. Um, and then you have more exotic lights like this, where this is a titanium milled uh, barrel in the middle body, and then you've got copper on the ends. Uh, titanium button and then we've got a really nice high CRI LED on the end and those are those things where I, I would say if you could label flashlight enthusiast uh, collecting uh, however you want to put it if, if you could put a label on it I would feel like that's getting more to like your intermediate is starting to look at okay, what kind of LED does this have? Is this higher CRI? Is this a warmer color? And like I said, those are all the things that you'll, you'll kind of just graduate into, which is kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm one of those that I would like uh, high CRI. Um, Nichia flash, or everybody says it different, but the Nichia um, LEDs, uh, that's that's kind of my, my preference. Sorry, got to move a little bit. My back's hurting today. Um, so with a little bit warmer of a temperature, maybe like a natural or warm output, uh, that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. And up until this point, I have been one of those that is, I want the brightest flashlight you can buy. That's, that's what I want. Um, but if you're going to do the brightest flashlights, normally they're like the cool white color. And so I feel like I have finally graduated from the you know the the cool whites you kind of get there where you just graduate from it and you're like I want something that's easy on the eyes looks very nice and that's that's where you end up and I'm there <laughs> uh, I'm finally there oh man so uh hold on let me uh let me take a drink of the old the old coffee mm. This is kind of a um, this is kind of an impromptu pod. This almost feels like a podcast. I almost said podcast um, segment. Like I said, I've been wanting to do it for a while. I kind of woke up this morning. I have the day off, obviously. I, I almost had to work on my birthday. That would have sucked. But I woke up this morning. You know, my wife had to go to work for a little while, so I'm waiting for her to get home. I kind of set up the desk to do a knife review, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to finally do this. I'm just going to start this. And I have, I still have so many knives to review, like this guy here, the Kaiser Grazioso. Um, this is a Sharif Manganis knife. Uh, his channel is on YouTube. It's pretty awesome. But Dan sent me that, and I still have so many things from Dan <laughs> that are sitting right here that I still need to do full, full reviews on. Um, that I've been carrying and, uh, I just, I haven't got around to it yet. Um, I have had to do, I'm, I've been playing catch up because I have so much stuff now that I have to, I have to take videos on, which is 100% not a bad thing. Whenever you post videos every day, content is one of those things where you're like, Oh, I need content. I need content, but I've got a, I've got kind of an overload of it now. And I love it. I always, I can just sit down at the desk and go, okay, what do I want to do? Versus, you know, when I first started, I would have a small list of things that I could do because I would have like two or three things sitting on the side. But now I can sit down and go, okay, I'm going to do this one today. Um, so, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I finally got a couple weeks worth of carry, uh, carry time, pocket time on the knives and stuff Dan sent in the last box. So, full reviews on that stuff coming super, super soon. Um, I just wanted to get this video done, get this segment started. And uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think. We'll, we'll continue doing this. I wanted this to just kind of be like an introductory video for the segments. And um, I figured what better way to do it than to talk about a couple of things that I like and that I look for. And uh, I, feel, I felt like that could get us kicked off pretty well and kind of give us a, 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 you know, a, a place to start. 
So for the most part, flashlight the flashlight world is kind of the world that I love. I love knives, but I, I also I'm a huge, huge flashaholic. And before we before we close this one out, we're going to just take a quick look at all the copper copper flashlights I could fit on the screen. <laughs> I kind of ran out of space, so I had to I had to just kind of throw them up here. So let's go ahead and start. This is your baton or baton. This is your Olight Warrior Mini. This is the Eternal Two. Um, love, love, love this flashlight. Dan sent me that one. Dan's one of my good buddies. If you don't know him on the channel, uh, he always sends me these little gift boxes, care packages for the channel, and there's always some some major major heat in those boxes. Just awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so this is a Tucson flashlight. This is actually pretty recent to my collection. And uh, the, like I said, I already kind of explained it, but it's copper, titanium, and copper. And uh, this thing is a chunker, man. This thing is awesome. Uh, the next one here, this is the FW21 Pro. This thing puts out a whopping 10,000 lumens. Don't I, I'm not going to be able to say what the lumen count for all these flashlights are. Um, I just know this one for a fact because I pretty much use this one on a daily basis. I love that flashlight. Uh, this flashlight comes in a lot of different colors. I got this one from JL Hawaii, uh, Jackson Lee, and uh, I that's probably one of my favorites right now just to use, like general use. I, I keep it around the house, and I'll pick it up if I go outside. Um, I don't EDC it as much anymore because I've kind of gone kind of a little bit more minimal on my EDC. So I don't EDC this one a ton anymore, but it does get used a lot, especially when we have to go outside for things at night. So this is the LM10, uh, the Lumintop LM10, and this thing is also a beast. And I've done a little bit of, I did a mod, uh, mod video on this. Added some glow tubes, glow tubes, uh, glow tubes here. Um, we changed the the lens to a sapphire glass lens. We also changed the optic lens on the inside um, to give it more of a spot beam instead of a flood. So uh, this is this has been one of my favorite lights so far. And the only reason why for that mainly was because, um, oh, see, look, it's still on. I do that. I do that. Let me put, go ahead and put it in. There you go. <laughs> see, I do that to myself all the time. That's how I burn myself with that light. Um, this is the one we already talked about. This is the i5T. This is the first Olight that I ever received. And uh, this will always have a special little place in my heart. This is the Raylight Pineapple Mini, and um, <laughs> let me go ahead and grab the other one. This is a bigger brother, so this is the AA version, this is the AAA version. These do have glow rings on the inside. Uh, these were ordered from Countycom. You can see we have spots on the back for adding more glow tubes. Uh, these are awesome, awesome, awesome flashlights. Can't say that enough about Raylight. It, I feel like if you're going to get into the custom flashlight world, Raylight is a good place to start. Um, they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, I think I think the AAA version of the Raylight is like fifty bucks or something like that from Countycom, and it comes with a charger for it for the replace, and, and it comes with the battery too, the rechargeable battery. So um, Raylight is definitely excellent, excellent flashlights, and they are great for the price. This is your Baton Three Pro. This is actually a new release from Olight. Uh, these are super, super nice. There you go. Take it all in. Take it in. Yeah, great, 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 great flashlight. Uh, that one just dropped. So next, this is the Bamboo, uh, the Olight Bamboo i3T. Uh, we can see I've... <laughs> dang, dang it. Uh, that's just some leftover polish from when I polished it. Oh, damn, looks like it has a lot in there. Uh, I, yeah, I think I just overlooked that. That's, that's my fault. So this is the little Brynite, um, keychain flashlight. <laughs> this thing is not great, but I bought it anyways because it's copper and we, we talked about that. Um, if it's copper, I'm going to like it. I've learned that about myself. Doesn't matter how cheap it is. Doesn't matter how nice it is. So this is the A9 Pro from Robivon, and this is the third generation. There we go. 
third iteration of the A9 Pro. Uh, this one is very nice. They recently sent me the fourth generation. And yes, fourth generation over the third generation all day, every day. Just they made all the right upgrades to this. They added all the right things. I 100% recommend this light, especially especially for output to size. Excellent, excellent, excellent light. So this is the drop. Um, oh, what is drop? Is it MDX? Oh God, I don't remember. Um, I know it's made by uh, drop, mass drop or drop or however you say it. A uh, titanium button on this guy. I think it was just a stainless steel pocket clip. But this does have a glow ring. There you go. You can kind of see it right there on the inside of the bezel. See it sitting in there. Um, this is a great flashlight too. This is a little AAA light. These are relatively inexpensive. Uh, 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon. But those are also very, very nice. The copper is patinaing very, very well. So can't go wrong there. Next up, we got the Ace Beam Tool AA. Uh, if you do not have any experience with Ace Beam or the Tool flashlights, you absolutely should go check them out. They actually just dropped. Um, hold on. Hold on. There it is. So this is the new Pocket Um Oh, wait. Did I say Tool on this? I'm sorry. This is the Ace Beam Pocket Double A. Yeah. See, it's very, very easy to get turned around. This is the Tool, but um, we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, so this is the pocket light right here, and this is the copper variant. Um, love, love that flashlight. They actually just came out with a new iteration of the pocket light, and this one is 1000 lumens. I'm actually working on the video for this right now. Um, it was 20 bucks on Amazon. I don't know if it's still 20 bucks, but you should absolutely go check this out. This thing is a thousand lumens off of one double A for $20. Awesome. Ace Beam usually does a pretty good job at making pretty high power flashlights for a relatively good price. So they're definitely worth checking out. Uh, next we have the Arkfeld Eternal. This is an Olight. There you go. Eternal 3. Sorry. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to keep up with them sometimes. So this is a little bit different than your, um, your new one that came out. Grab that. There you go. You can see the new one has a little bit of jimping on the side or milling. Um, look, it feels, in my hand, it feels a little bit slimmer, but I think they're the same size. They might be. But uh, the main difference is this one has the green laser, the old version, and the new one has the UV light. So that's going to be the main difference. The pocket clip's a hair different too. You've got your reversible or your double-sided pocket clip on the new one. Um, they did not make a copper version of this one yet. That's why this one is my copper, my copper variant. So these lights are great too. You're going to get a thousand lumens out of these max. I believe it was a thousand lumens. Um, but then you can also slide this little dial over and then there's your green laser. So these are awesome. Um, big fan, big fan of the copper O lights, especially the Arkfeld. I, I don't carry it as much anymore because I... It took me a little while to realize that I am 100% a round flashlight guy. <laughs> square is not me. I am not square. Uh, and then the last one on the table here. This is your Lumentop Tool AA. There we go. 2.0. And this is a great flashlight. Um, I, I carried this one and um, this one together for a little while. Uh, just because, because why not? See, that one's got the, the glow tube or the glow ring in there as well. Uh, great flashlight. Lumentop. Lumentop is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite flashlights. Uh, anybody from Lumentop, if you're watching, holler at me. Okay, just, just holler at me. Emails, emails in the description below. Um, Lumentop's a great brand. And we will go over that in another segment. I'm going to talk about some brands of flashlights and kind of some different things that can get you started. Uh, today was more of, since we're doing like a Flashaholics Anonymous, today was about me. So we, we did, you know, I did my introduction of myself and kind of the things that I like. And then on the next segments, we'll just start, we'll start talking about and going in depth on those different aspects of flashlights. So uh, if there is anything that you would like me to touch base on, or if you have questions about, or if we just like to pick a topic, 
uh, let me know. Drop a comment below. Shoot me an email. We can talk. We can, you know, um, this is a completely open floor. <laughs> completely open floor so we will talk about anything and everything for these segments um, I'm thinking once a week but if we want to do more than once a week I can absolutely try to make that happen you guys just got to let me know and uh, let me know kind of what you'd like to see on this and we'll uh, we'll go from there so thank you guys so much for checking out this video if you made it this far I know it was a long one I really really appreciate it most of the stuff after the 15 minute mark, I think my average view time is 10 to 15 minutes. So pretty much everything after 15 minutes is mainly for me. And then who, uh, you know, I, I, I could probably name at least five people that I know watch the videos all the way through. So uh, it's also for you guys too. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for indulging me. And uh, like I said, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. If you'd like to, uh, you know, hit that like button on the video. I greatly appreciate that too. And uh, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. I post pretty much every day. Pretty much. For the past few months. Pretty much. <laughs> Alright guys. Thank you again. I'll catch you on the next one.